December 29, 2017, the last Balls to the Wall slash Freakers of the Year. And, uh, yeah, Moose Girl's out there in the frozen tundra somewhere up there, uh, right on the Kanakistan border, watching her boy play some hockey. Uh, so she's, she's out for the week. I don't, I don't know that I've ever done a New Year's Eve Balls to the Wall Freakers Ball show by myself. But here I am, and I'm live with you here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. I think she's up in uh, northern Wisconsin. Uh, as, as far as I know, it could be it could be Minnesota, but I'm pretty sure it's Wisconsin. Uh, anyway, up there, frozen tundra. <laughs> anyway, howdy to everybody that's out there tuned in, listening in from wherever you may be. If you're here on the Real Liberty Media channel, page, show page, uh, on the Freakers Ball show page, welcome to you, uh, glad to have you all here with us there, this is the place you really ought to be, you get to see the videos and such, and also the chat room's right there, for those of you that uh, don't tune in or jump on into the chat with a, with a regular client, uh, yeah, a regular client, a regular IRC client, you know what those are, those are clients that are not part of the web interface, but if you don't have one of those, just jump on in through the web interface there, either on the front page of RealLibertyMedia.com, or just go right to the to the Freakers Ball uh, show page there, under Show Pages. You'll see it. It's right there on top. <laughs> also, welcome to anybody that's on the audio stream. I know we've got at least a couple from a couple different places out there, you audio streamers, and anybody that may be tuned in over there on FreedomsNetwork.com. Good to have you here with us as well on this uh Freaky Friday balls to the wall, freaker ball wall freaky thing going on here. Uh, and uh, welcome to the folks over in the corner pocket there on irc.crushandrun.net and uh, wherever else they may be there. But mostly welcome uh, to you all here in the Real Liberty Media chat on Freenode, irc.freenode. Dot net as I sit here on net. Yes, indeed. Freaky cold, says Bessie. And howdy to all the folks that are here tonight. Oh, barman. Hey, barman, how you doing? <laughs> he never talks to me. He, sometimes I, I type and, and pretend he's talking to me, but he never actually talks to me. And we got Miss Kate and Mr. Asmodeus, Beth Z in Calcedonia, Chloe in Dakota, and Free Ballin, Free Free enslaved, free ballin'. Freak in Vinny, Mr. Gary L., the Grammy lady, Miss Gramsie, the lovely Grammy. Don C., the Java Doctor. Uh, JJ's probably asleep at this point in time. Over there in uh, Scotland. Worcester, Wana Taco, and Meester, Meister Brow. Paul Bunyan, Rain, Miss Rain, the Fluke Bot. He never talks to me either. He, it, she, thing. Uh, it might be a she, I don't know, if, um, uh, Grammy calls RLM Fluke Vanna White, so, um, <laughs> we got Rome's uh, Trust No One, Anti-Hen Crowd Control, a.k.a. Flash Droid, uh, Dima, Frumpy, Kozu, Mbubabot, Moe, and then some Nabois, and Mr. Poxified, who looks like he's asleep, but he should wake up for this show at some point, I would think. The Pwn Sauce and Slim Jim Flim. I don't see the sock puppet in there. Uh, 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 Teddy and Phantom and... Uh, did I mention Anti-Hen? Anti-Hen from Down Under. So, um, all y'all, welcome. Welcome to all y'all. <laughs> like I said, it is the uh, this is the New Year's Eve program, the prediction show uh, that we do uh, every year, once a year. Uh, I do have the uh, Skype line open for those of you that may want to call in a, a, a prediction for next year. You can type a prediction in the chat if you have one uh, that you something you've foretold, foreseen going to happen for the for for. Uh, the coming year, 2018, which starts in a mere couple of three days, couple of three days, two and a half days, um, as we're halfway through this one, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, so so 
people foresee things sometimes, and they make predictions, and we record those predictions here on Freaker's Balls to the Wall. <laughs> And uh, and we re review last year's predictions, which we're going to start doing right at this point in time. Right now, we're going to start redoing these, doing these. And and if you got if your answer was was correct, if your prediction was correct last year, we'll give you a a ding. And if not, it goes. Bzz. Grim goes balls to the wall without Moosey. Yes, he does. Um, <laughs> and. I, I should have, wait, oh, oh I, I need to go to, where do I need to go to? Oh, okay, we'll start here, wait. Okay, let's get these goofy ones out of the way, because there's a, a, a batch of goofy ones, and I, I don't even know why I included some of these, but they're here. Um, so, uh, I, I, I'm going to put a uh, 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 on this first one. Of course, I don't really know the answer to this. Um the first goofy, humorous prediction from 2017 was that from Demon Atrax, you, you all know the lovely Demon Atrax, you remember him fondly, I'm sure. Uh, his first prediction was that Kim Kardashian's ass would explode. Get it? I don't know. I don't, I think I would have heard about it, but no, I'm going to say on that. <laughs> now the second one I don't even know who this person is well, I, I do know the name I'm not really that familiar with the person though Surly Surly uh, also Demon Atrex said Surly will get married to his long time long time companion and lover Chi Un Chi Un Sum Goy I don't even know what that is it, it's like some name he made up um so, uh, no, I'm going to say no. No, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> Whoever this person is, Dev2, I, I, I don't recall this person either, Dev2 uh, said, Barman will record this prediction. So, so he was right. He did. Barman did record that prediction. Good job, Barman. <laughs> Okay, last year from freaking Vinny, <laughs> he said Trump and Putin will cross streams after a night of vodka. You know, that may have happened. That may have happened. Nah, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, another a track. Why does a track got all the goofy ass ones in here? I don't know. Anyway, a track said, the secret clone of Grimnir will break out the secret biotech lab near Moriarty, New Mexico, and head straight for Casper, Wyoming, to disembowel and eat Dick Cheney and his pig heart. If only. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Atrax. Well, you know, I, I, I should just tell you, these are all the goofy ones, so you can't really expect any of them to be true. Uh, but again, here we go. Atrax again. He, he's he's like the majority of these goofball ones because, well, he's demon Atrax. What are you going to expect? Anyway, he said Donald Trump's hairpiece will become sentient and <laughs> and turn the House of Representatives into an actual whorehouse and single-handedly solve the national debt crisis. Uh, sorry, Mr. Atrax. That did not happen. <laughs> and then another Atrax re, re, uh, uh, prediction, prediction, was that uh, Trump, in an attempt to prove his loyalty to his Jew masters, will travel to Tel Aviv and fillet Bibi Netanyahu on a global telecast. Well, he did travel to Tel Aviv, and he did fillet Bibi Netanyahu, but it was not on a global telecast. Either way, I think I'm going to give him a yes on that one. Yay! Uh, a ding, ding, ding! <laughs> now, this one, um, a, little, a, a little interesting and a little bit foretelling. Also from Demon Atrax, also meant as a joke. However... 
A-Track said that Moose Girl will have Tom Petty's love child. Now, she didn't actually have Tom Petty's love child, but as you know, Tom Petty did die this year, and Moose Girl pretty much did uh, swear her love to Tom Petty. So, um, anyway, and she said a giant legal will battle over, uh, will ensue over the rights of uh, I won't back down. Now, I don't know about that part of it. I, I can't I can't really say. <laughs> All right. And the last Atrax one here is uh, the traditional Norwegian dish. I think it's more an Icelandic dish, but whatever. He says Norwegian dish, known as Ludafisk, uh, will be renamed Hillary's Kippers. Sorry, Atrax, that did not happen either. Um, Mexicant, which I, I do believe that was Flash last year, Mexicant, <laughs> said that I get alien abducted, alien abducted, brutally probed, and doesn't remember it again. Well, if it happened, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this one, um, it's possibly true. I, I don't know. Um, I, I haven't done any measurements to, 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 to say whether or not this is true, um, especially not on, on the other side of it. But uh, Mexican, again, said that my moobs would get larger while mooses would get smaller. I think mine are about the same as they were. I, I, I don't really, really know on that. Um, <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> but I doubt Moose has got smaller. Anyway, Mexican again uh, suggested that Moose Girl officially loses her hockey mom MILF status. No, definitely not. Still a MILF. Still a MILF. Still a hockey mom. <laughs> Sorry there, Flash. <laughs> you are wrong, wrong, and wrong. All right. Judge Dredd Hansel said that Rob Works will run out, run out of pharmaceuticals and be forced to face reality in 2017. Now, as far as I know, and I'm not—I can't be 100% positive on this, but I'm pretty sure. That Rob Works is not a pharmaceutical type of guy. I'm, I'm fairly certain Rob Works is a natural sort of hippie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, we're going to play some music. We'll come back with some uh, more serious of last year's predictions and go through those. But uh, as far as the joke ones went, they went as, as you would expect them to be. Um, almost all no. Uh, and the ones that I said yes on are, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Welcome to the program. Freaker, uh, balls, freakers balls to the wall. Yes, indeed. Right here live on reallibertymedia.com. And we're going to kick it off right here tonight. What, what you smoking? I wish I were smoking something, man, woman. <laughs> I wish I were smoking something. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start it off right here um, with uh, Airborne, a band called Airborne. You may, you may say, hey, that's ACDC, but no, you'd be wrong. So enjoy. It's all for rock and roll. Yep. Somebody's always trying. That's Samantha Fish. She she was live there at the Stanhope House. Oh, just a couple of weeks ago, December 12th. And uh, great, great stuff, Samantha Fish. Gotta love her. 
Anyway, before that was The Burning Witches with Black Widow, and we kicked it off there with Airborne. It's all for rock and roll. That was a, a, a Lemmy uh, tribute there, that song, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, a Lemmy tribute uh, from Airborne. Uh, that's right, Airborne, not ACDC. No? <laughs> All right, we got we got we got some predictions rolling in now, and I'm uh, glad to see that. Yeah, we 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 need them. Where'd my cursor go? I always lose my cursor. Um, now some of you may not know because you weren't here in the chat today. Earlier when uh, when I when I when I came across it, but uh, there is a crypto coin known as the Bonger Bonger coin. Yes, indeed, and I am now officially a member of the Bonger team. <laughs> uh, the, the, the interesting thing about Bonger is uh, the, the coin, it's spelled with two G's for whatever reason. Um, I, I, I don't really know why, uh, but uh, it, it is. So uh, I am now a member of the Bonger crew. Uh, I, I have a Bonger uh, email address and access to the Bonger Twitter account and uh, <laughs> you know, if I was going to be involved with a well, any of the crypto coins as, as part of one of their their crews, uh, it, it's hard to imagine one better than Bonger. Um, how, however, um, yeah, you know, possibly uh, who the hell is putting Melon Camp in here? Sorry, Moose Girl, those Melon Camps will not happen. I'm, those are those are gone. I'm deleting those. I'm, I'm assuming I'm hoping you were drunk when you requested those. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell balls. All right. Um <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bonger. Uh Bonger Bonger had a nice day. Um uh, they started off having a nice day. I don't know how it is right now. I I haven't had a look there for a little while. Um but uh they they started off with a really nice day and and I, and I tweeted out about that and then the uh the guy that uh, initially in developed the Bonger coin uh, wrote me a little uh, message over there on uh, uh, BitcoinTalk.com. Let me see how Bonger is at right now. Uh, they're up 207 percent at this point in time, but they were up more than that earlier in the day. They were they were up around uh, 600, 700 percent earlier today. Uh, so some people said, "Hey, hey, let me sell some of these." Uh, so anyway, yeah, that that's that's my coin. That's my coin. <laughs> Oh man, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's something fun. I, I would have been, I, I'd have jumped in on the dog, dog uh, Doge coin, uh, back in the beginning, uh, had I thought about it, and I could have uh, pushed for an opportunity there, but I never did. Uh, no big deal, and I didn't push for this one. It was, it was, it was tossed towards my direction. How does one buy this coin? Uh, well, there's various ways. If you have any other cryptos, you can deposit them on the uh, exchange where the bong is at, which is at Polonex, uh, the Polonex exchange. Um, that's the only one that I know of, I think, that, that's there at this point in time, um, is the Polonex exchange. Uh, and you would go there, and you'd go onto that exchange, and you'd deposit some of your other crypto coins, whatever you may have, or uh, you can uh, deposit, um, I think, U.S. dollars. I, I don't know about other fiats. Um, but you would you would uh, deposit whatever kind of it may maybe where you live they allow you to to put in Aussie dollars um, down there. But it's the Polonex exchange. If you go on, on that uh, that Coin Market Cap site that you were on, uh, if you click onto the website page there or link there, uh, you'll you'll come to the right to the Bonger dot com website and. and uh, Scroll down to the bottom there. You'll see exchange. Oh, it's Cryptopia. I thought it was Polonex. Okay, yeah, it's the Cryptopia exchange. And you would you would log in there. You'd have to create an account and log in there, and then you could make a deposit of some sort and, and purchase um, your bongers over there. Now, I, I uh, recently, I don't know, a couple weeks, months ago, I don't know when it was, um, I had these other coins. These called Panda coins that I, I didn't feel they were ever going to do anything. Uh, so I tra I traded in these like 600,000 panda coins 
for about 90,000 bonger coins. I already had like 150,000 bonger coins. So now I got like 250,000 bonger coins. <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, go to the Cryptopia exchange there from their website and, and you'll see how it works. Um, that where you can get the bong, buy, buy the bongers right there on that. Yeah. All right, so let's go through some more of these uh, predictions from uh, last year. Um, free enslaved. <laughs> and and this may have been a result of something I st stated last year. I'm not sure. But free enslaved um, stated that the prediction show would go on. And it is. Ding, 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 ding. Winner. Yeah, uh, I, I may have stated last year that this that it could have been the last one. But it was not, uh, because here I am, doing it again. <laughs> will, will it go on next year? I don't know. Uh, uh, anyway, the next one is from Mr. Sock Puppet, who said that Grams, Gram Z, Grammy, our lovely Grammy Mary, will drop an F-bomb during her broadcast. Always. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yes, Sock Puppet, you <laughs> were correct in that. I, myself, stated, <laughs> remember, this is before it happened. At the beginning, or the end of 2016, I predicted that Bitcoin would hit $1,000. <laughs> I may I I may have been a little low, but I still hit the mark. <laughs> I, and, and I hit that mark way early in 2017. <laughs> ding ding ding. <laughs> okay, I also predicted that temperatures in 2017 would be colder than the last gen, ten years. And global warming pussies will whine about that and make up new reasons that <laughs> that create new reasons why that is still global warming. I'm saying I did that. I'm saying I got that one. I I, I, do, I don't have the exact stats in front of me, but you know I do believe it was colder in 2017 than it had been for the previous 10 years. And suck it. Global warming pussies. <laughs> now, Free and Slave said that Trump will remove 25% of Obama's executive orders within the first 100 days. I do believe that Trump has removed 25% of Obama's executive orders, but I don't think he did it in 100 days. Um, so it's, a, it's like a half yes, half no. Uh, but I don't have a way of doing half yes, so I'm going to say yes. Ding! <laughs> now he's going to have to give he's going to have to give us the answer on this one because I don't know the answer. Free and slave said his house will finally be done by April 1st and on the market after that. Is your was your house done by April 1st? Oh fuck no! Oh. Boop. <laughs> Far from it. Okay. Well, maybe this year. <laughs> All right. This happened. Oh, well, it halfway happened. Free and Slave said, The largest solar flare in years strikes our planet in 2017. Yes, it did. Causing real problems. Yeah, it really didn't. I'm going I'm to say yes, because you got the the largest solar flare in years. Um, absolutely, uh, that, 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 that happened. Um, but, oh yeah, oh yeah, we had a huge one. We, we had, uh, actually we had three, uh, class 10 X10s, uh, last year. And, uh, so, or this year, I guess, 2017. Uh, no, the MSM was not covering that. The clap doesn't cover that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had some big ones. I predicted and was absolutely correct on this. Not that it was difficult to predict, but I predicted that Meister Brow, Meister Brow, a.k.a. Woody, would smoke weed again. And yeah, he's pretty much every day now. <laughs> so 
because he was on he was on, he was on a little hiatus there from smoking weed, trying to get some land some job, you know. But uh, yeah, that that that. Come on, man. <laughs> Who, who, who wants a who wants a job where you gotta uh, not not be able to smoke weed? Um, Free enslaved said Carrie Fisher will be replaced in Star Wars movies. I, I there was a new Star Wars movie. Was Carrie Fisher in there um, as a hologram or something? I I, I don't know. Uh, there was a Star Wars movie. I'm gonna say no. I I think I would have heard about that. So all right. Um, Free Enslaved says the U.S. will have a major volcano go active and California will have an 8.0 quake. Sorry. No, 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 those didn't happen. Sorry or not sorry, however that may go, it didn't happen. <laughs> this one he got right. Free Enslaved stated that the dollar will make it through 2017 once again. Yes, it has continued on. And, um, Yes. This one is a no, but not at least not the same one. <laughs> Apparently he's got a new one now. Uh, but Free and Slave stated that Beetle makes it through the entire year with new girlfriend. He, he's got a new girlfriend, but it's not the same one, I don't think, that, um, no. Anyway, he, but he's, whatever, man, good for him. He's out there, he's playing the field. Or whatever. Oh no, hottie, she she's dead, man. Yeah, she she uh yeah. Miri B guessed that someone would take a pot shot at the Donald. Yes, rip hottie, very sad, very sad. Um, sorry, Miri B, that uh, that did not happen either. Although, hope spring is eternal. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Rob works. Rob works guessed that uh, nothing much would change. Uh, uh, that's a solid. That's a solid yes answer. Um, no, you couldn't count the little funny beheading. <laughs> I, I mean, a pot shot. I assume she meant with like an actual gun. Um, uh, I, I mean, everybody took pot shots at, at the Donald. I do it every day. <laughs> But but that's not the same as actually what well, I think she meant was shooting at him. <laughs> oh God. Anyway. Let's see, free and slave guest. In twenty seventeen men will lose even more rights to women, making the scales of equality in the woman's favor. Yeah, that happened. Absolutely free. Um Yeah, we're 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 evil devils, us 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 men. And it's worse if you're white, like you. <laughs> well, for the minorities, but we're we're definitely uh, uh, the 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 devil. <laughs> oh, and uh, P. B. New Year, A.K.A. Paul Bunyan, uh, guessed that he will find out he is going to be a pappy. Did did Paul Bunyan have a kid or find out he was going to be a kid or I I don't know this answer. Um, the, 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 um maybe I'll give that a maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if Paul Bunyan had a kid or found out he was going to be a kid. I I I, I, I Papa up here. What? I I don't know. All right, we're going to do one more, and then we'll uh, go back to some more music. Um, and this is, she got this wrong. She got this ringingly wrong, I would say. Miss Chloe uh, guessed that by this time next year, uh, which was 1230 tomorrow, uh, by this time next year, Trump will have pissed off Putin, bromance dead. Sorry. That didn't happen, Chloe. They're still best of buds. <laughs> Pappy Papa. What? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Um, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know on the Paul Bunyan one. 
uh, whether he found out he was going to be a dad or not. Um, so, uh, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll continue with more of these um, after this next musical set that we're going to do right here, right now. Starting off with a little band called The Darts. They're uh, chick punkers, if you're not familiar with The Darts. I love them. They're great. They're, they're great gals. Um, <laughs> out of L.A. Yeah. Uh, so here you go. The Darts with The Cat's Meow. Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. That's uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble there for you all with Change It. Yeah, not one of the more popular songs, but very good one. Uh, anyway, before that, a Beth Z request, Stoner Train, Crow, Above My Temple. Oh, I love the Stoner Train boys. Those guys are great. And we kicked it off there with the darts doing the cat's meow. Uh, great stuff all around, I think. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, excellent tunages. Uh, if you know, if you know, if you guys, you could follow the darts there on the Twitter. Um, they're, they're there. They post up information, news about shows they've done and such. I told you they're a, a girl punk band there out of Los Angeles, in Los Angeles. Uh, so, um, what do I, oh, 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 okay, we're gonna do this one. I have two versions of this. One's live and one's not. I'm going to do the non-live one here on the, on the program. I, I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm pulling songs out of my out of my list here <laughs> to, to put into the queue for the next musical set. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and I think we'll do this one here too because well we can. And yeah, well, in Stoner Train, you know, the, the, their version of Black Betty, it may only be a minute and a half long, but it's a great version of Black Betty. Um, and you have heard it here on the Freakers Balls to the Wall. <laughs> and again, you may hear it this evening a little later on. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh yeah, it's not that's not that's not very long, but we'll 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 do it anyway. We'll handle it anyway. Okay, back to the list of uh, predictions from uh, last year. Somebody's gonna have to help me out on this one. I have no idea. Uh, Space Wolf predicted that Oasis would reunite and go on tour. Oasis, I I don't know. Are they um? They're a band, right, of some sort. So I, I, I'm going to say no. I don't know. Maybe. Did they? <laughs> I'll have to look that one up. I'll save that for later. No, no ding, no buzz, no maybe. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know who they are. Um, I, I mean, I, I know that they're a band, but that's about all I know. PB, Paul Bunyan. Sorry, Paul. Well, maybe good for you. I don't know because you, I mean, you do what you do. But Paul Bunyan predicted that a slow fire season for 2017. Now, I guess depending on where you are, who you are, uh, uh, this, uh, some people. Uh, New Mexico had a slow fire season, but California certainly did not. So um, I, I, I don't know so much about other regions of the country. But I'm going to say overall, probably not a slow fire season for 2017. Although there was a lot of summer rain, uh, at least uh, here in the Southwest. Uh, so yeah, maybe. Um, uh, um, but I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. So um, let's see here. Oasis Reunion Tour 2017 says Liam Gallagher will do it. Okay, but that was an old link from 2016. Yeah, I still don't know. I'll look it up tomorrow or whenever I do the blog. Uh, Space Wolf uh, predicted that the European Union would lose another member country. Almost. They, they came close. Uh, but, but, but they did not. So, um, no, sorry, Space Wolf. <laughs> My, Meister Brow, Mr. 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 Meister Brow, predicted, and quite rightly, may I say, that Bitcoin hits $1,400. Yeah, 
times 10. <laughs> yes, big ding there. Ding, ding, ding for uh, Mr. Meister Brow. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, as, as far as I know, free, this didn't happen. Free and Slave predicted that Miss Mary B. from Down Under, uh, Pa Pal from Down Under, uh, would write a bestseller in 2017. I, I, I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to say no, that didn't happen. <laughs> I wish she had. Um, but, uh, no, I can't say so. Um, uh, Mexicant, a.k.a. Uh, Flash, uh, said Michael Obama will go to work at Monsatan and Bill Clinton will die probably in a plane crash. That, that would be a double no. <laughs> Sorry, Flash. I know you were being a little tongue-in-cheek there. But uh, those things did not happen. Uh, and sadly, this one didn't happen. Uh, I, I, you know, people died trying to get her there, but it didn't happen. Woody Meisterbrow said Hillary Clinton will be brought up on felony charges of FOA violations for public officer in laws that exist on the books. Yes, very sadly, that did not occur. Uh, she She still needs to have some terrible things done to her, but that, um, as yet, no. <laughs> uh, freaking Vinny, freaking Vinny, you're going to have to tell me this, I, 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 I don't think this happened. I mean, there were more protests, but I don't know what and further abuse means. Um, yeah, sure, why not? More protests and further abuse. Uh, maybe that means by cops? Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a ding on that one. Um, <laughs> Flash, a.k.a. Uh, Mexicant, uh, said, Giant false flag January 1st, 2017. No, not on New Year's Day. There was not, sorry, Flash. <laughs> now, Vincent Easley, so he came in as two different names here, said Michelle Obama will go work for Monsanto. Well, if she's doing it, she's doing it covertly. So, <laughs> Bill Clinton will die. Oh, he predicted these already. These are the same ones. These are like triple no. No, 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 no. Those didn't happen. More protests against tyranny. <sighs> there were protests. I don't know if they were really against tyranny. They were They were against, they wanted every, everybody to have crap going their way. Um, I'll go ahead and say yes. I, 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 it's, that, that, that's a questionable one. Vinny also suggested, correctly, that more bankster deaths, some, some by acci accidental suicide. <laughs> we'll give you a ding on that one, Vinny. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there were definitely some big bankster deaths. Uh, I don't know if they were accidental suicide. They may have been uh, fake suicide, murder, suicide by murder. <laughs> All right. Anti-Hen. Yeah, the Anti-Hen uh, predicted that George Bush Sr. would kick the bucket. Sorry. Sorry? No, that didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> uh, P George Soros is still alive, right? Yeah, George Soros is still alive, right? Uh, 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 PB, uh, Paul Bunyan, uh, yeah, he came close, the doctors fixed him up, gave him another one of those new hearts, or whatever, whatever parts keep those freaking aliens alive, lizard people. Um, PB suggested that George Soros would die, so no, that didn't happen, sorry, 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 <clears throat> um, freaking Vinny says, and it doesn't specif specify a location, um, and I and I don't know of any of this that happened, but v Vinny suggested giant hailstones bigger than a softball. Bigger than a softball. Oh, I guess you could consider the uh, uh, the the, uh, the pipeline against uh, protest against tyranny. Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, no, I don't recall any giant hailstones. Do, do, do you know about some of those, Vinny, that, that I'm, um, I'm got a bzzz yelling? Um, <laughs> I, 
I, I don't I don't know those. Uh Chelsea gets Prego. Did that happen? Is Chelsea is, is Chelsea, Chelsea pregnant? Somebody help me out here. Help me out. Is Chelsea I I think he means Chelsea Clinton. No. No, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and who would put their it never mind. I don't even need to go down that road. Don't even need to go down that road. Uh anti hen predicted that China would get another US drone of some type that the US will want back. <clears throat> nope, that didn't happen. Uh I, I Iran got one, I think it was last year though, twenty sixteen. Um oh Hansel, big old ding on this one. Uh, predicted that the Dow would break 20,000. Easily done. Easily broke 20,000. I think it's sitting at, what, 25 now, right? Right, it's 25 marker, 25K. Um, so, uh, softballs on balls to the wall. <laughs> uh, Anti-hand predicted, and no, this did not happen. I'm going to say, luckily for us, it didn't happen. Antihan predicted that the price of oil uh, will be between U.S. dollars 70 and 80 uh, by the end of 2017. No, 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 that did not happen, thankfully. Um, Hansel also predicted that Hillary Clinton would die. Well, she may have died, and, and that may be a clone that we see uh, there, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this should have been in the goofy ones. I don't know how it wound up here. Uh, Judge Dredd Hansel uh, suggested that Demon Atrax would take up ranching. Now, actually, I don't know if this is uh, business or not because I don't talk to, to Demon Atrax anymore. He hates my guts. <laughs> because I banned him at one point. Um, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> so um <laughs> anyway uh flash uh <laughs> so <laughs> flash has suggested that not one of many music requests for freaker balls would ever get played in twenty seventeen wrong o wrong um boy o I played some of your requests there. Flash. Uh, well, and Rob Works predicted that hands would eat crow. If um, he... He'll never admit that he's wrong about anything. So I don't know how he eats crow. Um, he He's wrong about everything, but that doesn't mean that he um, admits to it, so... <laughs> yeah, no, I did ban someone free. You remember Atrax? He 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 just went berserk. So I'm gonna say no, no. Hans did not eat crow. Uh, isn't he eating crow? Uh, let me see. Uh, let, let, let me let me try this here. W A. What does it mean to eat crow? Because uh, I think that means that you actually admit uh, to actually. Um, no results, because I spelled what wrong, maybe? Uh, what? Let's try this. Um, yeah, he he never admits to making a mistake, and I'm pretty sure that's what me eating crow means. Um, so I'm going to say, no, he didn't do that. Although, wrong about many things, yes, indeed. Ever admitting it? No. <laughs> and I guess this should have been under the joke ones, too. Hans suggested that Istanbul would be renamed back to Constantinople. Uh Old, uh, uh, yeah, old New York is is old New Amsterdam, whatever. Um, Rob Work says Judge Dredd will cry when the Trump betrays him. See, and that's another one. That's a no. That's because um, <laughs> he doesn't care what Trump does. He still loves him. <laughs> How many days for day? Um, I, I'll, I'll give it. I'll, I'll, if you if you put some more in in the next day or two, I'll uh, I'll, I'll 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 go ahead and uh, take them and put them into the thing. Um, and then Atrax said uh, cannabis cultivators will patent 
a mango cannabis hybrid. Ooh, that sounds tasty, but no. <laughs> yeah, swallow your pride uh, is what eating crows uh, means, according to Vinci, Vincent Easley. Uh, it was so easy for him. This easily, he said that so easily. Um, yeah. So no, uh, Hans. Can you imagine Hans swallowing his pride, saving face? No, none of that. He did not do any of that. Uh, he certainly did not. Um, no, 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 no. I don't. I, I, I can't see him ever doing that. No. <laughs> All right. Well, um, here's here's. I'm gonna go ahead and and, and give you the the first prediction for. This must have been for last year, uh, wait, except it came in late. This one. Oh, okay. I'll put this over in the. Uh, I somehow this got into this year's list, but. Uh, I, I, I free free enslaved uh, okay I predicted this and and I, and 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 he didn't call in the freaker's ball but he did call in um uh, free enslaved predicted that Solomon would call in the freakers by May 1st 2017 um he he had called and I had talked to him and I had recorded it. however and I, I need to mention this to you that earlier this week um uh, and I'll, let me play the little uh, audio if I can here. Uh, do we get, get rid of that? Um, um, where, 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 where did it go? Where, where did that wind up at? Um, it's, uh, 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 somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I, I'll find it right here. Uh, No, not that one. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if we can... I don't know if this will play or not. Um, but er earlier this week, on Tuesday, um, Solomon Gate called me, but I, I didn't... The, the phone, it didn't come through for whatever reason. Um, and it, he didn't. He said he was going to call back the next day, but that didn't happen, and, and I was hoping he was going to call in maybe tonight, but that didn't happen either. Um, so this is a, a little... Uh, phone message from Solomon. It's just real short, but but here you go. He called in on Tuesday evening here. Good evening, Brother Grimnir. Today is uh, Tuesday, uh, December the, the, the 26th. This is your brother Solomon. It's about uh, 9.40 p.m. Uh, your time. I just call you because I want to talk to you. I will try it tomorrow, probably the same time. And uh, I apologize, I didn't do it uh, sooner, like uh, you leave or yesterday, but unfortunately I was uh, short of funds and I couldn't do it. But I would really like to call you and give you a hug and, and, and hear your voice. Bye, my brother, bye. Okay, that's it. Um, so, yes, uh, Solomon called. That was... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's always good to hear his voice. Uh, we love Solomon. And and it would be nice to get some uh, calls back from him again, uh, wh whatever. Yeah, it's rare when he calls, and and it, it's it, it's. Uh, I, I wish I would have been, you know, heard the phone ring or whatever. But who knows? Uh, and he, he said he was going to call back the next day, and that didn't happen. And, and so I was hoping he was going to call in tonight, but no, that didn't happen either. Um, yeah. So uh, Solomon, if you hear this, we love you, man. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be glad to hear from you at any point uh, off into the future. Um, whenever, whenever you want to call, uh, that'll be great. So, um, uh, till then, take care, be well, peace be with you, my, my brother. All right, we're going to play some more music right here, uh, right now. Oh, Hansel did come in, huh? Oh, we were having such a fun time messing with Hansel, now he's here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Solomon's great, Chloe. Uh, he's, 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 he's a dude. Free, free and Slave says, Happy New Year, Solomon. Um, and uh, Vinny, Vincent Easley says, Yeah, Solomon, yeah, man. We love him and we miss him. Uh, so, um, and, and Beth Z echoes the same sentiments as well. And, um, you know, it's it's just, uh, 
we miss you. So, anyway, uh, we're going to play some more tunages right here, right now, for you all, on uh, the uh, balls to the freakers, freaking, freaking balls to the wall. This, uh, well, this first one, uh, well, just enjoy it. <laughs> just enjoy it. <laughs> if you're not on the video, you're missing out. All right, that was Alice Cooper, believe it or not, off of his upcoming album, which is coming out in uh, February, I think. Um, Alice Cooper, The Sound of A, uh, that's the title track there, uh, coming out uh, February 23rd uh, of 2018. Uh, love, love it, Alice Cooper, love it to death. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, before that, Samantha Fish with a Chills and Fever. And what I have to say about that song is, first off, I really like it. Uh, and the fact that Hans doesn't like it means it's good music. <laughs> anyway, uh, and that's off of her recent, her uh, most recent album came out uh, last February or so. Uh, Chills and Fever, Samantha Fish. And we kicked it off there with Remy doing the Bitcoin Billionaire. Uh, Bitcoin Billionaire. Um yeah, he was doing. He was. He was. He was living, living, living big time, living in style. Until that solar flare. <laughs> oh, that's funny stuff. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, dig it. Yep. Yep. So, uh, Remy, he's the, he's the guy from, uh, Reason, the Reason, uh, website. Oh, what did I, what did I, oh yeah, sure, sure, take that one out too. Okay. All right, and, um, uh, there's, there's some interesting stuff in here. I got some interesting stuff in here. Oh, this is good, this is it's the end of the year. Yeah, we'll put that one in there too. Um. Because we can. <laughs> you know, I think I'll do I'll do a different kind of deal here uh, coming up uh, on this next one. Um, anybody seen Cowboy Tech? Where, where where the hell, man? Cowboy Tech. I got I got some stuff in here from you and and uh, and. Uh, well, anyway, rumor has it. So when when Cowboy Tech pops in, he usually does pop in during this program at some point in time. So rumor has it that tomorrow, the the thirtieth, is Cowboy Tech's birthday. So when Cowboy Tech pops in, everybody give him the big old uh, "Hey, happy birthday, Cowboy!" and he'll be he'll be surprised and shocked and happy with all that. <laughs> Okay, so we got to take that one out of there because we already did that one. Um, this this should have been last year too. I, I, I don't know how this one, because this did not happen. Uh, sadly, it did not happen. Um, but Free Enslaved had predicted that Pizzagate would be busted wide open and some elite actually go to jail. No, that did not happen. Very, very sadly, that did not happen. Um, because it should have. It deserved to. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, starting with this year's predictions. I predicted. Now, remember, the, the, my, my prediction last year was that Bitcoin would hit $1,000. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we got that mark early in January. This year, I am predicting that Bitcoin will hit $25,000. Yeah, Bitcoin, $25,000. Yes, in freaking DD. That's my prediction um, So uh, for, for this year. I also predicted Dopecoin will hit $1 this year. If you're not familiar with Dopecoin, get familiar with it. Um Slim Jim Flim just says help. Okay, I guess he was testing something. I, I don't know. That's not a prediction. Okay, so Dopecoin to hit a dollar. 
uh, Bitcoin to hit $25,000, and I predicted that Grammy will continue to be wackadoodle on Wednesdays and freakalicious on Fridays. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, uh, let's, Vinny wants to call in, so let's get let, let's get Vinny on the line here, and uh, and see. Let, let me just see if I can call him and see what happens. The one ringy dingy, as they say, as they say, two ringy dingy. Come on, Vinny. Hello. Hello. How's that sound? Well, it's it's a little it's a little rough, but I mean the the volume is good. But go ahead, just talk. Just okay. Well, good. So this is uh, I just put Skype on this phone over here. Hey, Androids, by the way. But it is what it is. Uh, so we're out here in Vegas, and the eighth of January coming up. Um, be back in court to uh, let's see. Yeah, Friday yeah, was do, do the, it, do uh, it, do it best says there, and move a little bit back from the microphone. Well, it's it's hanging. Oh, okay. It's earbuds. Oh, is that better? Yeah, that's that's fine. That's, that's, just keep talking. So on on the eighth of okay. January. Yeah, court comes back in. Uh, so Friday was the last day for defense to uh, finish filing any more motions. And and let me tell you what, there is a bunch of them flying. That there there's a real unorthodox uh, legal team there. Uh, You'll, you'll find Morgan Philpot, uh, Rick Koiber, uh, Larry Clayman, Roger Roots, and, and other lawyers there that are, are working. And then, of course, Ryan uh, Bundy, um, he, he's practically leading the court uh, in so many ways. And, and I'll tell you what, a lot has changed. So for those that don't know, uh, Beth, I caught her up just a little bit earlier today. Uh, what's happened is it's all come out. The uh, the BLM was uh, really running run roughshod. Um, it, it was, you know, some old West uh, black hat dirty deeds stuff. Matter of fact, uh, Dan Love, his uh, dirty deeds and backdoor dealings, and uh, coupled with Myrie, who's the uh, prosecutor for the state, he and also another uh, prosecutor were out there in uh, 2014, uh, Nadia Ahmed. So this is all a big setup. I, I mean, straight up conspiracy. Uh, a kill book came out. Uh, people's name were on there. Who who, did, uh, who they were going to take out? There was, uh, you know, finally uh, the leaked uh, body cam footage and audio that uh, for the last two years the prosecution has denied even existed, and and everybody knew, right? Everybody that's been following along uh, for, from back then, we knew all about it, and, and that how the legal system, of course, they they tie their hands. And it's just collusion. It's it's got to be Rico, um, all kinds of uh, uh, real, real. Uh, I mean, Gloria Navarro finally had to say stop, uh, sit the jury home, don't need to come back, uh, called a mistrial, and should have been outright this uh, dismissal right then and there with uh, with prejudice. So we come back the eighth, and uh, she'll make a further ruling. Now, what what you get with a dismissal? Uh, I mean, a mistrial is, you know, they can come again with a, another uh, trial, recharge him, uh, retry him again. So we've had, uh, what, two two up in Oregon, you know, not from the same thing, but stemming from the same movement uh, down here in Vegas. This is the third trial. There's uh, They split it into three tiers, different, uh, what they say is uh, degrees of accountability. So this tier right here with uh, Clive and Bundy, two of his sons, Ryan and, and Ammon, and then Ryan Payne. Um, once it came out that this uh, threat assessment the BLM provided uh, was contradicted by the FBI threat assessment saying that they weren't uh, a danger. Um, and, and then when they called out to, to, on social media, um, and people came by the thousands, by the way, thousands of people showed up out there uh, just to stand in the gap. They, they said, you know, we're afraid for our lives. But we think this could be another Waco or, or Ruby Ridge. And you know what? It turns out that's exactly uh, what uh, was planned. And there's uh, there's been a lot of great information shared. And I'll tell you over at uh, Jay Grady and, and Valley Forge, especially, they're uh, colluding for uh, 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 back and forth with some videos here. And uh, really, uh, a perfect uh, 
a set of history books if you want to go listen to this um, from from Bunkerville, Bunkerville to Burns uh, and and all in between. There's a lot of people um, that's been involved in this, and I've I've had the uh, the good chance and honor to uh, to meet a, a great many of them and um, share history back uh, through uh, 2014. Um, some people are, are a little controversial, and other people don't get along. And um, you know, there's a little, you know, buffering. But uh, I, I think, uh, all in all, the uh, the overall strength has been in the the supporters, the the number of people that are are hands on and and uh, providing uh, what they can, you know, uh, stepping up and and uh, taking a position and just doing what they can. Uh, some people are have just excelled so much. Uh, Sherry Duvalli. Uh, uh, read out news. Uh, she told me, uh, you know, she taught herself to to write, and I'll tell you what, she puts it out. She brings the uh, most pertinent uh, uh, facts to light. Now, I've I've mentioned earlier Maxine Bernstein. Uh, she kind of uh, held her her feet to the fire herself a lot. Uh, she changed a lot in her uh, uh, journalism and reporting. Uh, st- still a little the bias. She's left wing uh, comes through. So she had. Uh, I uh, posted a, a cup or a picture of uh, these little cups here uh, on her that somebody left on her desk. One said, uh, "Go to jail." The uh, monopoly thing, and the other, "Do not pass go." So I says, "I uh, I hope there'd be some telling in these." So we're talking about actually, you know, criminal, uh, not just civil uh, rights violations. There's the Giglio and the Bradley violations where they did the prosecution didn't. Not only did they not disclose uh, exculpatory evidence. But they even denied it existed. They they told Ryan Bundy that uh, um, you know accused him of being on a fishing expedition, and, and and Ryan says back to him, he says, "Listen, I can't keep up with your back and forth here. I, I want I expect my motions to be taken serious." And uh, I, I tell you what, everything changed. It's it's just amazing the difference between what has happened in this trial and the previous, where they've been, the, you know, they couldn't even make a defense. A self defense. They couldn't talk about there were snipers that they were, you know, that they were uh, uh, there uh, and they were the ones being stood off. So it wasn't the people, the supporters, that, like I said, that came by the thousands. Uh, they were not the ones doing the standoff. The, the feds came and stood them off. I know from uh, uh, firsthand that the, uh, the, the feds were already standing down, the cows were being released. Uh, Sheriff Gillespie had talked to Clive and Bundy, uh, and early on, on Friday, the 11th, the, uh, uh, you know, they were supposed to be bugging out, but what happens instead? Dirty Dan, he says, uh, here's this beautiful word, I, I think y'all will ever, he, he told, tells them to shelter in place. So they go from the aggressor, the attackers, then to the victims. They play the victims. And you ought to hear the testimony. You know, you could go on for hours. And these, uh, the, the, Crying nearly, you know, in tears. This one, this one gal, she's a sniper, uh, had uh, Eric Parker in her sights, ready to shoot him uh, at a, just a, in a, you know, a given second in an order. But uh, anyway, so she's on the stand and she's way back there. Nobody's even, you know, pointing a gun and there weren't any, you know, guns flying around by the protesters. All the gun pointing came from the law enforcement, which was uh, almost 200 tactical teams. There, there were Elite team snipers, uh, uh, these uh, MRADs and response so, uh, teams from so the FBI. There was 200 teams, not 200 people? 200 uh, agents and uh, personnel all together. Some of that might include some of the support team. So I was able to be in the courtroom, and here's some of the testimony. And, and uh, I'm glad I wrote uh, continuously. I, so I wrote as much as I could. Those will be coming along for review at some time. But uh, some of these witnesses that blew this case wide open uh, in their testimony well, it started the downfall. Yeah, and for you know, uh, the, uh, the, 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 that's their normal tactics, though, right? I, I mean, they uh, they always make this big old thing out of out of nothing, and then and try and make it seem like what they were doing was what the other people were doing. Right. Hold on one sec. Thank you. <clears throat> that was a little cough. So uh, uh, what, what we see here, this isn't just some recent deal. Um, it's been going on for a couple of decades, right? So why they strung it out for so long, 
uh, is the beneficial use and proving that, right? So the, the difference is, is uh, people are confusing public land and uh, public domain and, you know, access to the land. And then the federal government claiming ownership where, in fact, they were uh, mere managers or supposedly. So the, the, this evolution of this, uh, this range management came uh, about through the uh, last uh, hundred some odd years and into through the uh, Taylor Grazing Act and into the uh, modern BLM created, I think it was 1946. So anyways, they went from a managing to a, a manage, managing you out of business. Clive, Clive and Bundy was the last out of uh, uh, it was 52 or, or 53 ranchers throughout uh, southern Nevada. Um, he was the last one. He says, look, I, I'm not paying you guys no more. And this $1 million fee that uh, supposedly he owed, mm-hmm. um, it actually amounts to about $2,000. It was about 8000 He sent uh, six grand into uh, uh uh, to Vegas there to, uh, to Clark County. And, uh, it's still floating around in escrow account somewhere. Now they've spent, uh, I think about $6 million on the cattle gather, um, or the, the, uh, Bundy Ranch raid, uh, the, uh, man, for sure that was a Russell, cattle Russell. So anyways, uh, and then like another at least $100 million on prosecution. And, uh, it's all been, you know, set up. It was all a set up. And uh, I just, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing to be here and, and see this happen uh, because it's almost unheard of, right? 98% conviction rate in the federal courts. Right. Um, a few people have taken plea deals and have yet to even got their, get their sentence handed down by uh, uh, here in uh, in Vegas by Judge Gloria Navarra. And there's some others uh, that uh, Joe O'Shaughnessy, uh, the, there's, uh, well, Eric Parker and, and Scott Drexler, they took uh, – um, uh, they took pleas, but uh, so that they're out. A lot of guys are out now. Who's not out is uh, Clive and Bundy. He's uh, he's still in jail right now, and uh, he says he's not uh, accepting terms. He's, in, in other words, he's not uh, he's not taking a surrender. Uh, he'll walk out of there with his head held tight, high and all, all his rights and be uh, vindicated. And you know, a lot of people laughed at that. A lot of people really laughed at that. And there's been a huge opposition, I mean, huge against the the, the Bundy or pro Bundy oh, uh, folks I see in the movie. I see it, man. I see it on the YouTube. I see it on the Twitter. You know, every, everything when you when you post stuff up there, those those people come out and. Um, happy birthday, cowboy! Yeah, happy birthday, Mister Cowboy Tech Man, youngster. <laughs> So yeah, they're they're definitely uh I don't know if they're paid opposition or they're just huge statists or or what. Some are and, and you know, uh one person in particular that's uh who is deeply involved uh throughout from uh Bunkerville up to Burns, uh confidential informant. As a matter of fact, uh she's going around the Twitter sphere right now. Now some uh some time back, I think it maybe a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> the Washington Post uh used her as uh reference and source and quoted or outright as uh is almost an example of the uh a shining example of the of the latter day saints the mormon church and uh boy there's a lot of dirt that's been talked about on her and then not only that just her actions and uh, she denies being that uh that one on uh the uh the <laughs> on the twitter the goblin anyways so, yeah. so there's a big following right there and uh so she's blocked me uh, and I said that one time I got blocked, got blocked by goblin semen. That's something to say. <laughs> but it's so funny. I have to uh, say. It is, it is. You know what's even, even more funny than that? All I have to do is uh, follow their hashtags they use, and I can go see everything that they post that have blocked me. Oh, the uh, the Bundy sketch artist. Uh, he's a little weasel guy. He blocked me. You know, I have a lot of interaction with uh, a lot of these folks in the in media up there. Man, you know me, uh, I don't slow down. I ain't met a stranger, and I just, <laughs> you know, I'm all up in there, and uh, they're watching me, you know, and, and uh, uh, yeah, so I've finally even been quoted directly. But uh, So just here the other day, uh, when the mistrial came down, this guy, uh, Kirsten uh, Suckling, <laughs> what a <laughs> name. So he, he's founder and head of the uh, Center for Biological Diversity. So it's an NGO founded uh, uh, or funded uh, by Soros, it's claimed, and, but a lot of money. So they're this uh, stocking horse, uh, right, this uh, 
the, the tortoise. He, he's the guy that brings up, he, they sue the federal government, uh, basically kicking people off land, stealing rights, making these false accusations. So it's extreme environmentalism. You know, um, anybody that works it with the land is not out there. Yeah, hey, well, of course, I, I'm going to prove myself wrong right now. The, the uh, agro business and all that stuff that forces all this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, petrochemical fertilizer and so forth and pesticides and la di da. You know, they're forcing the system and like to produce corn. They've got to, you know, use this stuff uh, to uh, be able to meet all these. Well, I mean, the regulations and stuff and the price setting. So it's a lot of complicated. But I tell you what, the guy out there producing on the land, uh, especially generational like this. He's not got his cattle out there uh, tearing up the landscape. Matter of fact, as I pointed out, um, and, and others, of course, uh, but by my own observation, I know that uh, that cattle uh, grazing in Peru's uh, range and habitat from all sorts of wild, wildlife. You know, you know what the BLM did? They went out there uh, back in uh, uh, early uh, April of 2014. They went out there and tore out a uh, hundred year old uh, water systems that, that have been there uh, providing uh, ecosystems. I mean, they're little springs, right? And you catch what, what water and, and what, it provides. What, what, what uh, justification do they have for that? Well, they, they move along. So we go back to the tortoise and this guy suckling. <laughs> and, and I call them uh, a, a lot, good long list there about the stocking horse and the tortoise two step and the, uh, yeah, the stocking horse hustle. Uh, and, and a false foot production and uh, calling him uh, and his buddies there the uh, uh, turtle men troubadours and, and singing the same old song and dance. And I swear this one guy, uh, he just looked like he was terrified. He was like he's a new recruit and he'd be to- been told all these uh, horror stories, you know, that uh, we probably would, uh, you know, want to eat his eyeballs out or something. These bungee people are such awful, terrible people, right? Right. And the Homeland Security, the marshals, I mean, uh, at Metro, you know, hardly any tussle all these uh, last, what, two or three months here. Uh, you know, just very little uh, pushback. And that's what I called it with suckling. You know, they came down with their banner in front of us. And I'm not a, a bit ashamed to say uh, I'm a supporter, reporter. Um, you know, I've been uh, following this and been a part of this all through it. And I spent a lot, a lot of time looking at it. Uh, and been some confusion of that because I look at all aspects of it. You know, some people, well, you know, if, if you're saying, uh, you know, you'd consider this, well, you know, that that's the whole idea is to consider all, uh, you know, take as many uh, looks as you can. And, and and so much of it is is obvious, of course, uh, uh, the the environmental uh, proponents that are, you know, it seems like they're paid to write in, uh, you know, such a slanted way. Uh, but anyways, back to suckling. <laughs> uh, me and him had a little pe- peaceful uh, protest. And Tom Lockavar Stewart over at the uh, uh, RBN uh, uh, Resurrect the Republic and Dirty Uncle Sam, uh, he, he took some of my video and, and put it together. Uh, now, I have my own. I, I ran some live feed. And, uh, I still haven't gone to watch it all. But uh, like I said, we had some peaceful protest, he and I, and uh, bumping shoulders along the way uh, and getting loud. But. Um, I I feel like maybe uh, you know it was kind of for me fun and, uh, and and he knows what he's doing, you know they they say like he's not a paid protester the hell you say <laughs> he's caught, he gets paid big money and yeah. he comes there for counter protest and then comes up because uh, you know he wants to cause a little friction well uh, hey he got the friction back and in the end. Um, <laughs> Me feeling somewhat ashamed, walked away and let some of the big boys step up there and educate uh, these uh, folks that he had along with him. They're holding this banner, and uh, they they had a little less fear. And I said then and uh, shared a, uh, a post uh, a memory with Daryl Becker uh, for you know this guy. I spent a lot of time studying him and and some uh, others that uh, you know professional in communicating and. And communicate in a better way. But I threw it all out the door and had fun with it. And uh, he just said, shoulder to shoulder, stomping down him with his bullhorn and uh, me with a, a sign and, and shouting back. I'm pretty sure he's a little louder. The news was there, and I, I never did find anything that uh, I guess we wasn't exciting enough to uh, 
get a sound bite there, but uh, uh, they they sure came down the mainstream, sure came down to the ground level where we are out there, uh, not on top. See, they kind of reserved the uh, upper steps up there outside the front door of the federal courthouse for mainstream. But uh, uh, all of us that uh, are supposing to call ourselves media, uh, <laughs> conspiracy and right wing and uh, this and that, well, uh, I think uh, uh, I and uh, myself and a great many others, more, more especially so, have uh, provided an education to the mainstream. Because I can tell you, I, I've seen their, uh, I've seen the change in them. Uh, Ryan Lentz, bless his heart, uh, Southern uh, Poverty Law Center, I hate watch. Um, uh, he really just like at first he was like, you know, cold hearted. Uh, uh, a hole, but no, 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 no. Before you go on, uh, you translate that for me. That phrase, "bless his heart." Bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh that's the southern colloquialism, uh, and you know, most often it yeah. is taken the wrong way because most people, uh, if you look it up, it'll say, you know, it's kind of like an underhanded insult. But uh, <laughs> honest, honest and for truth. Uh, I, when I say it, I, I mean it in a, in a well-meaning. And, and the folks that so, I know, so, uh, Max so, Cole mostly so, do as well. So your bless his heart is not a fuck you. No, no, no. Matter of <laughs> fact, I like Ryan. Yeah, uh, and, and he and I, he softened up to me. And, you know, like I said, I've uh, had the opportunity to, to talk with all these folks and, and see how normal they are and then see their bias. And uh, uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, a, a lot of these guys did <laughs> I, I told uh, I told uh, Ken Ritter for uh, he writes as AP right. <laughs> I said I, I wrote a little piece uh, about you and he kind of got a little bit of a tight there. And when I kind of give him a breakdown of what it was, and uh, he I seen this often in a smile. So uh, and get, told him where to go find it. He never did re respond any further. Still waiting on uh, Tay Wiles from the High Country News to uh, respond to. My little bit of a hit piece or, or editorial, as I might call it, but uh, and I, as a matter of fact, I do got to do a couple of redactions there. I've since found out that uh, uh, Mike Stickler, uh, and he's uh, he's writing uh, the book, uh, and it's coming out. Matter of fact, I, I'll be getting my copy sometime here. Uh, <clears throat> he he's done internet radio, as has Brian Hyde, uh, who is now uh, who's next. And matter of fact, we just. Uh, uh, Real Liberty Media YouTube, we just subscribe to their channel. And, oh, shoot, uh, if I can't call it right off the top of my head, but it's Society and uh, the State, I think it is. Yeah. So Brian Hyde and, and uh, Connor, and I don't recall his last name, listen to uh, their uh, broadcast. And Brad Green, I met up here, Go Green. Uh, a lot of, Like I said, a lot of people, just amazing, amazing, amazing amount of people that, uh, I mean, dozens of people do, together. Is the only way, and, and and for me, I'll say I I certainly believe too that the hand of providence has been involved. Uh, it, it's just uh, a great bunch of people too. I, I tell you, uh, there's a little bit of uh, ruffles here and there, you know, but uh, another nothing that uh, spills it out too badly, and and everybody uh, just uh, you know want to see the best, or to uh, like kind of walk around each other if they got a problem. Uh, in a sense, and me, some people like me or uh, or don't, and um, so I've had that to overcome, uh, e even with my overtness and uh, never meeting a stranger. But it's like you know, sometimes people don't know how to take me, and and especially in the in the uh, situation and the environment, um, that this there's you know suspicion and distrust, and and I've said and you know told Brian and and a great many others. Uh, Last thing I want is anybody's trust. I said, matter of fact, uh, you know, this trust business is what's caused a lot of the problems and people um, not willing to ask the question of somebody. And, and for people, uh, you know, to be offended, to be judged. I said, I'll tell you right now. And, and you know, I, you know, I did that, that broadcast to tell about me just for complete and like I said, not transparency. And that's what I said uh, to, to them, to Lisa and to Angie. Uh, I, I don't want you to see through as a camouflage. You want you to see in and just know, you know, the, the liabilities and, and uh, of, you know, if I'm up on the witness stand, you know, uh, could could they, uh, you know, impugn my testimony? 
because you know, hey, I've uh, not always you know been a, a good good guy that I am today. But anyways, uh, yeah, I I think a, a lot of the distrust I, I have overcome with some people, and and part of that I brought on myself because I, I really interjected myself pretty strong there. Uh, but as it turns out, that all turned out uh, well and good. Uh, and, and again, I'm very very happy and, and proud to uh, to be along. My my portion that I'm adding is, is minuscule compared to. Uh, like I said, there's so so many people that uh, just do amazing things. I, I don't know how uh, how they do all that they do, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of hands in there. And again, uh, I, I'm glad that uh, my mark, little bitty mark uh, in history, will be included in these great men and women that have uh, really stood for, uh, you know, think what you will. Uh, and and I could go on again about the differences that we supposedly have between right and left and, and show the example of, uh, you know, the uh, false front in this environmental, the extreme environmental movement and where they're trying to capture all the land. They, they're actually kicking people off the land. They're, you know, they, <laughs> public land in their definition, it's all Orwellian, of course, black is white, up is down. Uh, well, homeland public, security. Just, just, and, just anytime you hear the word public, just transpose that with government. Yeah. Public is not you and I. Oh, uh, and yeah, I, uh, out and about Christmas and on and, uh, came back and, uh, it took me, uh, when I got back on it, it took me a while to open this computer back up. It was all locked up. And, but anyways, I, apologies for taking so long to, uh, uh, put out the, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, want, I wanted to ask week. you. I wanted to ask you. Are you on uh -huh. drugs? <laughs> no. <laughs> because the, 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 what you you named uh, Hal's broadcast a fair trial at this point is impossible, and it, yeah. and it never even mentions Hal. Yeah, I, I think I might have to go back and do a little bit of edit. I think I'd be behind the woodshed down in there somewhere. No, no We're just, uh, you, took it, you took it out of the title. You said Sessions Orders Examination. It was too long. Yeah, yeah well, it wouldn't let me put it in. Yeah, you only get 100 We're, characters in a YouTube title. Uh, I'm tricking some of the algorithms and uh, to uh, bring it into the uh, the flow where where the people will be able to uh, receive uh, the broadcast. Well, so if yeah, looking, I I know it looks uh, but if they're, looking, different than if they're looking for behind the woodshed or BTWRLM blah blah blah, they're not going to find it with that title. I I, uh, I will go back and fix it. I was looking at it today um, and like so the week before. I did a, a switcheroo real quick, and uh, it worked pretty good. But <laughs> like I said, I wasn't I wasn't here for this one, and I, I went on the fly. And uh, I, yeah, I've got to go back and uh, um, do another edit to that so that all that information yeah, is in there. So this was to bring. Yeah, if, if ever you you know you, you might not be around for a day or two, just let me know, and I'll, I'll pop it up there. It's no big deal. Yeah, I didn't plan on it, and uh, man, I like. 36 hour bug, man. I laid down and, uh, getting to this computer was, uh, uh, beyond reach for a spell there. Hey, cowboy. Yeah, I'm, I'm betting with, uh, well, I, I'm not going to say with no, no, just no, on, on the, uh, yeah, dismissal. Okay. Yeah, you have to. I'm not. Well, okay. I'm going to leave that precious because I think they want to cover themselves. And that's what he's talking about on I my know, prediction. But, it, but it's a prediction. So you have yeah. to predict. Will it be with? Or without prejudice. Well, see what we're looking at uh, on the eighth, which is uh, will be on a Monday. To come, uh, it's right now. It's at mistrial, so she can apply to mistrial uh, with prejudice or uh, uh, not apply or without prejudice. The what we're looking for is not the mistrial, and what should be and and, and absolutely should be is a dismissal. Now that with prejudice or without prejudice is where it gets into. Uh, uh, of covering their uh, their behinds here, so Myrie looks like he might be set for the to take the fall. He's he's got past history and why he's still a prosecutor. I have no idea. Uh, past uh, violations of uh, uh, of the Bradley, uh, you know, disclosure of exculpatory evidence. Right. <laughs> he's been shown to be a guy that knows how to go get the conviction. All right, well, and, with, and, with and rules be damned. 
With, with all that they've done, and there should be no doubt that that should be dismissed with prejudice. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, and they, they'll hope that Trump sending or Sessions is sending uh, a third party. Um, it, it'll be down to uh, you know make sure that it, the blowback doesn't go back to D.C. Uh, and the uh, FBI director, I guess, uh, I might not be saying this right. I guess he's since retired. So we've got uh, Dirty Dan and Backdoor Dealings. We got Stephen, my my Myrie and his don't ask, don't tell. And uh, somebody there uh, back in D.C. has has slipped on out. And uh, all the while now, glorious hole. So much deep. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, let's wrap this up here. I got uh, more show to do. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Grim. Appreciate yeah, y'all you. and uh, all the uh, updates and information here. and uh, all the stuff you do and you're a real liberty guy. I, I I don't know. I don't know what the right word would be for but for you, but I'm all about it. You're That's a real, great. real liberty guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Governor. Thanks, right. y'all. Good night, and uh, I'll see you back there in the chat. Yes, sir. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Governor. Yeah. All right, Vincent Easley. Uh, doing so much, man. Doing so much for the cause out there. All right, we're going to play some tunes. We'll come back. We'll get you to hit, hit some more of them predictions for this year, uh, for, for next year. Uh, I keep pushing myself ahead a few days here. It's not 2018 yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy so uh anyway uh let's uh let's do some more tunages you all remember this one <laughs> never spoken strange times are coming and i want to be right here yes indeed me and the, the meteors there the meteors the strange times are coming uh before that satan takes a holiday good cop bad cop in case you didn't catch all the uh, lyrics there uh yeah that not no good cops <laughs> Before that, we had the Galactic Cowboys with Internal Masquerade. Yeah, they are a very old band, and uh, they are coming back around. That's brand new. Well, September the song came out. Uh, so so it's uh, time to see the Galactic Cowboys uh, rolling it up again. And we kicked it off there with an oldie but a goodie, Paul Revere and the Raiders Indian Reservation. Yep. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, man. I, I like that. I like that. I dig that music. Uh, uh, new music by old people. Old music by old people. New music by new people. I'm good with all of it. Seriously, what the hell is that buzz sound? All right. <laughs> oh man. So, um, anyway, yeah, what, what the holy hell, All right, um, y'all got, uh, some plans he headed up there for the, uh, New Year's Eve, hopefully you're not gonna do anything stupid, like go out and drink and, and drive and get arrested, cause that would be stupid. Now, um, I, I know they, a lot of, a lot of places will provide, uh, various services, uh, for you people that like to go out and party and drink uh, on on the New Year's, but uh, stay in, stay warm. Exactly, Bessie. I couldn't agree more on that. Um, uh, I, I'll be here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right here. Strange times are coming. Oh, strange times have been here for a long time, but we got we got more strange times coming. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the predictions for next year. Um, Free and Slave predicts that. The regressives will begin 2018 by erasing most of the music videos on YouTube. 
I seriously hope that does not happen. Free and Slave predicted that Solo Man will call in tonight, but although he didn't call in, we did hear from him, uh, so there is that. Hansel, a.k.a. Judge Dredd, predicts that next year Democrats will lose seats in Congress in the midterm elections. And I say, meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> Maybe. Who cares? Uh, anyway, Free and Slave predicts that uh, Al Franken will return to Saturday Night Live as a washed-up comedian. I don't even think they would have him at this point. Um, yeah, Free and Slave also predicted that by the end of Trump's administration's eighth year, well, that's, that's, that goes beyond... That goes beyond the scope of next year predictions, but by the end of Trump administration's eighth year, Chloe will lead toward being an anarcho-capitalist. And I predicted already, well, I'll, I'll get to that. Uh, 2018, my, my prediction, 2018 will be the year of the weed crypto coins. Mark my word. If you're, uh, if you're thinking of investing in crypto coins, Coming up, coming now, go for the weed coins. That's right, the dope coin, the the hemp coin, THC coin, uh, the uh, the bonger, do the bonger, uh, cannabis coin, canna coin, pot coin. These coins, these are the ones. Uh, sativa coin. Yeah, there's a lot of good weed cryptos out there. 2018 will be the year of the weed crypto coins. Now, I can already predict this cowboy tech prediction for next year. Dead on the money. Oh, well, they do that every time, don't they? He predicts that voters will whine about voting. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Vin E. predicts Bundy Ranch case will be dismissed with prejudice. He changes that a little later down the road here and hedges his bets, but he predicted on December 22nd, Bundy Ranch case will be dismissed with prejudice. I predicted. No, I didn't predict. Moose Girl predicted this. I wrote this down for Moose Girl. Let me take my name out of there so I don't confuse myself. Um, I, Moose Girl predicted, predicts that the U.S. government is going to say they know about aliens and that they exist. She predicts disclosure. We'll see, but they've already done disclosure, so, and nobody bought it. <laughs> All right, Free and Slave predicts that judges will be replaced by AI. If only that were true, and if only I could be the one programming that AI. <laughs> Free and Slave also uh, predicts, and again, this is not for next year, because, well, um, it's not. But twenty, he predicts the first female president will be a Republican. Said president Palin, yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, I predict that Meister Brow will move to Arizona, and he'll become a Zoni. We used to call them Zonies back in San Diego when I lived in San Diego. The Zoni of invasion every year. They always came out during the winter. Uh, and because it was too freaking hot in Arizona, so they'd come to San Diego and just destroy everything. You know the way you know the way they are. Um, in, in 2018, Free and Slave Free and Slave predicts Meister Brow opens a small part-time homebrew biz. Okay, okay. I predict for next year several good, clear UFO videos will be recorded by you, the people. You, the people. <laughs> Flash, come on now. You know this can't be right. Flash predicts that Hans will be right about something. <laughs> oh, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Hans. <laughs> All right, Slim Jim Flim says everyone will begin tab completing. I can already tell you that's not going to happen. I can tell you that's not going to happen. It's not important to anybody except for you and your goofy name, Slim Jim Flim. 
<laughs> Circle predicts nothing will really change. And that's, that's what Rob Works predicted for this year, and he was right. And I imagine she will be right as well. Graham Z predicts that NASA will be forced to admit that they never went to the moon. And whether they'll, uh, I, they'll, they'll never admit it. I, I don't, I, I, well, maybe they will. Maybe they will. Grammy may see something. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Um, Graham, Grammy also predicts that someone will put a massive cannabis vape cartridge in the ventilation system of Congress and the Senate. Oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, LSD would be much better, Bessie. Um, <laughs> get, get them all a little fried there. Well, I, I know, Hans, you've never actually been wrong about anything. And and uh, I, I so I don't know. But anyway, um, Chloe predicts that I, my personally me, will open the closet door where my guitar is stored and play it. Well... See, the thing is, that the closet where the guitar is stored is is just there by my entryway. And, and it's, a, it's one of those accordion-style closet doors, and I leave it open. So every time I walk by it, I see the guitar there, and it beckons to me to pull it out of there and tune it and play it. So you never know. That might happen. <laughs> Vinny, oh, this is his, his hedge bet here, uh, predicts the Bundy Ranch case dismissed with dot, dot, dot. He'll leave the with or without prejudice dangling. But earlier he predicted with prejudice. Um, yeah, I could probably use, give me some Ernie Balls, man. Um, all right. Uh, Vinny predicts that it'll be a big to-do in Bunkerville first part of the year. Uh, no, it's it's an acoustic man, so uh, um, uh, some 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 sick ones though. Um, anyway, uh, so a big to do at Punk Bunkerville. Uh, I, I guess that means a party. Super slinky acoustic. Okay, all right, all right, good man. Good man. Um, uh, free enslaved, and here we go. Here we go. Just because it has to be here every year, Dick Cheney finally kicks the freaking bucket. <laughs> free oh that was free ball uh, free ball in free and slave free ball in whatever uh, then Vinny predicts that Walt Disney will not be brought out of cryogenics again um, yeah I'm pretty sure you're right on that uh, why 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 would they and I predict I predict that Samantha Fish who I've played a couple songs on here tonight and I've been playing more recently will have a top 10 blues song I'd love to see that. Uh, I hope to see that. Yeah. Anyway, I also predict that Chloe... <laughs> hang your hats. Hang on to your hats on this one. Chloe will embrace anarcho-capitalism and wonder how she lived her life under the boot, the jackboot of government control. <laughs> Anti-hand predicts that the Chinese will sink or capture a military ship around one of the disputed islands. They put air quotes around the islands, because they're not really islands, uh, in the South China Sea. Uh, they could well do that. I would not be too surprised, although I don't really think I want to see that. Free Enslaved predicts that Asimo will find a valuable treasure tossed away in 2018. Also a distinct possibility there, in my view. And uh, Vinny predicts his last name will be will easily be said uh, more than any others <laughs> all next year. <laughs> and Antihan uh, predicts that I will enjoy the feeling of a clean shave. I, I would not put any money on that Antihan. Um Because, um, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Beth Z predicts that something big and unexpected 
is going to be revealed. Well, I'm not showing my big thing. Anyway, um, and I had predicts that Moose Girl will have a cuss or swear free day this year. Only if she sleeps all day. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, man. Let's see here. Free, free slaves. Get, oh, the Ernie Ball Super Slinky Phosphor Bronze. Like, oh, those sound nice. Oh, sound pretty. Um, <laughs> let me take a look at these strings here. Uh, oh, they, don't, they don't really have a picture of the close-up of the strings, but uh, yeah, those sound nice. Premium Phosphor Bronze. Sweet. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, the dot dot something. <laughs> All right, um, as I said earlier when he first came in, and I'm gonna repeat it again because you know I can and I do and I will and I and I sincerely wish a uh, happy birthday to the simple man. All right, that there was the Rolling Stones, and time is on my side. Yeah, great song. Uh, before that, we heard uh, something from April Wine. Uh, I think it was called I Like to Rock. <laughs> it was a song. Anyway, before that, we had uh, Ten Years After, and I'd Love to Change the World. Uh, and we kicked it off there with the Charlie Daniels Band. Simple band. That was all. For Cowboy Tech, because he's our bud, man. He's he's the dude. He's cool. He's the cool guy. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right, Bess. I'm, I'm not like I haven't been slick uh, trick trick before. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I, 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 I've uh, listed all the predictions that we have here uh, already. So if you guys got more predictions, uh, put them in there. Is uh, as uh, quickly as you can over the next day, and uh, I'll get those up uh, over the weekend uh, for the for the next for the, for the next blog post there, the 2017 prediction show, and uh, we'll we'll get that up there on the thing, and you, we will we'll cover them again next year, this time next year, whatever that is, whatever day that happens to fall on, I don't know. Uh, tomorrow, uh, you, you got you got your uh, hell and uh, no wait, they're not hell. See, you got your dork table <laughs> tomorrow. I don't know what day it is. Anyway, tomorrow you get your dork table uh, with Grammy, Mary, and Flash. Uh, uh, so that'll be interesting. That's at noon. A couple of dorks, yes, indeed. A couple of dorks, and and we'll be here us dorks listening to them do their thing. So that's at noon Eastern, and they go for a couple hours. It was a good show, and uh, the afternoon is pretty much open after that. Uh, who knows what will happen in the afternoon. You, you, you never know. You never know. Um, oh, uh, Cowboy's Tech brother uh, thought his birthday was today, and they watched the new Star Wars film with him and his daughter. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, and then on Sunday, I'll be on at my normal time with the blues. No, no more of that X-Bass stuff. Yeah, just back to the blues on Sunday, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be playing the blues for three hours, doing the trivia here in the chat, having a good old time at noon Eastern, but then at three Eastern, for media, immediately following me, is Hal Anthony coming on behind the woodshed, opening up that extra large size can, oh, whoop ass, giving you some info that you might need. You may not agree with it all, but it's all there. And uh, he's correct in his assumptions from the perspective that he gives them from. So check him out. He's a good show. Two hours there of Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. Then at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, that evening, we'll have uh, Gary L. and his lovely bride, Gigi's Boo, going down the road less traveled. Not sure what their topic will be this week. Last week, they covered a bunch of Christmas uh, uh, interesting topics, good stuff. And so maybe they'll do some New Year's stuff this year. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to tune in and find out. 7 p.m. Eastern right here on RLM Radio. Um, what was I going to say? 
Oh, well, Grammy will be back on Wednesday at her normal time, uh, as far as I know, as far as I know. Uh, anyway, so there's that, and then, uh, what else? You know, it's been a great year, 2017, uh, uh, at least a decent year. Um, but but for for RLM, it's been a great year. Uh, I love all you people. Having all you people here as part, part of Real Liberty Media and just doing the chat and checking out the shows and... And, and and just being part of it all, and, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, so, um, happy to have you here. Hope you stick around for another year uh, with us and, and, and uh, all that uh, fancy stuff that I say. <laughs> so, um, I'll, I'll be back right after this here. I, I got I to gotta do this, though. I, I can't go away without doing this. And uh, these boys are called Stoner Train. Oh, Black Betty, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, folks, for uh, tuning in. I had a great time. Hopefully you did, too. And we'll be back again next week with another Freaker's Ball. Hopefully, Booster will be there for that one. If not, it'll just be me. But, well, that's great. Talk to y'all later. Peace.